Spill the tea, Luna. Wow, that just came to me just now. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a Tube Wolf Collection or welcome back if you guys are one of my subscribers. We're happy to have you here today because oh my gosh, look what I have. Yes, we have the infamous, it's basically infamous by now, Luna teapot made by Abby Style. This kind of shook the Sailor Moon world when it appeared on Amazon out of nowhere. I remember a lot of people found the ceramic part of Luna on a Chinese website first, but there was no box, there was no brand or anything like that. So we were all like, hmm, what the heck is this? Is it official? Is it a prototype that never got made to production? And then about a year later, here it is in the box, officially licensed and ready for us to test out and see if this is actually a functional teapot. I've heard mixed reviews but we're gonna try it right here together on Ochiba Wolf Collection. The box is a lot larger than I expected. Of course, we listed the size of this teapot on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com when it was available to purchase, but sometimes you can't really pinpoint exactly how it's going to be, especially when it comes in a box like this. It's shocking when it comes in something this large. I'm actually really excited to open it up and check it out. It does have a piece of tape on each side here. This one is actually lifted just a bit. Normally I open things up from the bottom of the box. But it just makes more sense because look at the bottom of the box right here. I don't want to go through that situation. So we're just going to open it from the top. Let me see if I have my box cutter. Sometimes I'm prepared. Sometimes I'm not. Found it. Actually might be able to just peel it off and take the tape off in a better way so we don't leave any tape at all. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see. Let's see what kind of power I hold this morning. I'm actually filming early in the morning. Ooh, this is some tape. I don't know if we want to do it this way. It might tear the box. Can y'all hear that? It just came off clean though. But we have to do it on the other side too. I think I'm just going to cut it this time. Save us some time. I might be able to rip it now though. Oh, I'm a crazy picky collector that if I can, I will remove the tape. Ooh, nice, nice. I did it, pat myself on the back. Now that we got that out of the way, we are almost ready to open it up. I do wanna just talk to you guys about what it says on the box real quickly here, because I know the material matters. On the bottom of the box, it does have some details. It does say wash before use, so I'll make sure to wash it before we use it today. It does have some symbols here. I believe that means do not put it in the dishwasher and do not put it in the microwave. That might be the bottom rack only on that first dishwasher symbol because it has a third symbol that has some, like it looks like a cup, looks like a fork. It just has those symbols, which we have to decode a little bit. I get it. It looks like bottom rack on the first one. That's clearly a microwave in the second one, but I can't remember for the life of me what that third symbol means because yeah. According to the Amazon listing, it is not dishwasher safe at all. This is really a unique item and we're starting to see a lot more Abbey style Sailor Moon products come to the United States, which is nice. You know, it's kind of uh, jumping in there with GEE and Just Funky, which kind of dominates the Sailor Moon merchandise here in the United States. So it's great to see other brands producing Sailor Moon merchandise here, especially when it's this unique. I'm freaking excited for this. I think it's so cool. And even if it doesn't function as an actual teapot, it's cute to display in a collection, I think. It's got duality. It can be a teapot or it can be a figure in your collection. I'm hoping. We're gonna find out if that is the case. It does come packed with some styrofoam. This is a very breakable item. It's, I believe it is ceramic. Oh my gosh. Please hope she's not broken. This is something that I do foresee some of them arriving broken if you do buy this for yourself, which by the way, I will have the link down there in the description. If you decide you have to have this Luna teapot, it is pretty epic from what I can tell so far. I hope it's as epic as I'm imagining it. When I first saw these images uh, of this teapot show up on, like I said, that Chinese website, the Sailor Moon Fan Network team and I, we just thought it was really cool and the sculpt looked really good. 
Oh goodness. We might just have to remove the entire block here. Oh, it's all hairy, it looks like. I think that's just what styrofoam does. I'm gonna set the box down here gently. Let's see if we can't get Luna. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. She's huge. Nice, okay. Okay, do we see any? Oh my God, this is, oh, we do have a chip in her. Oh no, oh no. I do see a defect right off the bat on her. I'm so sad. It looks like it only comes with two pieces. So that's all you have to open, but you guys want to see the defect? I'm glad her it's not her tail or an ear or something, but she is missing part of her front paw here, unfortunately. However, I'm pretty sure you can return these if you do buy one for yourself and you notice a defect. They are sold on amazon.com. Again, I'll have the link below. You guys know Amazon is great about returns, so I'm sure if yours arrives broken or defective, they'll swap you out for a good one. These things happen when they are this breakable. It's an unfortunate thing that happens, but it just, it just does. Like sometimes it's just unavoidable. I feel like she's echoing. Oh my, I mean like my voice is echoing. <laughs> I was like talking over here and I'm like hearing this echo and I'm like, oh, hello. It's almost like a little microphone. You know, like those kids microphones back in the day. I think I have a Sailor Moon one. I actually do. She is covered in some of the styrofoam stuff. I don't really know what to call it. It kind of looks like little tiny hairs. So we definitely need to wash it before we use it and see how it functions as a teapot. Very fragile. Uh, here is the ear that is the piece that you can close in. I almost put it the wrong way. There we go. So then she's complete. Oh, the sculpt is so cute though. I love how the tail is a little spiral. She actually has some form on her profile view here, like her nose sticks out. Sometimes when they make Luna things like this, they don't give any dimension to the face and it'll just look flat, but they did good. They actually have her nose sticking out. Uh, just a bit. She's adorable. Don't look at the defect down here because not all of them are going to have a defect. Yours could come perfect. And let me know if, if anybody has already ordered this because I am a little late getting this. Let me know down there in the uh, comments section below how yours arrived. Did yours arrive broken? Were you able to do an exchange or a refund and reorder? Or did yours arrive perfect? Have you used it yet as a teapot? I've got to know all the details if you guys have experience with the Luna teapot from Abby Style. Please let us know in the comments below. Before I go upstairs and wash her, I will tell you on her right ear is where the teapot spout is. And that's where you will pour your tea out of. And don't forget when you're pouring, hold that ear down. It actually kind of is secured a little bit. It has a little notch that helps it stay in. Since this is a ceramic piece, I don't want you to accidentally not hold down that ear and it end up breaking. I'm assuming this acts as the handle here, her tail, although I was really nervous about holding her tail. This piece is very heavy because it is ceramic. I didn't think how sturdy it was, but um, it's, it's actually holding up pretty good. On the bottom here, we do have the copyrights. This is officially licensed merchandise. It has just the logos abby style and it's got those three symbols we talked about that were on the box and it says made in china right down there on the bottom let me go upstairs i want to rinse her off get her a good washing and also get some hot water boiling and we're gonna see how it works brb Okay guys, I'm back. I just got done washing her, getting all the little styrofoam stringies and pieces off of her. And when I was up there washing her, I got to look at her a little more closely. And I just love the paint that they did on her face. Her eyes, the moon, the little nose, the mouth, little whiskers, looks just like she popped out of the 90s anime. They really did a good job and I just love the overall sculpt. I know I'm pretty sad about the chip in her paw, but do not hold that against the company. This is ceramic. These things happen. Sometimes they miss it before they ship it out. And I know if I contacted them, they would replace this. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I love this so much. I want one that's not chipped to keep in my collection. So I might release this video later after talking to the company, see if they can send me a replacement and then I'll pop in a post-production on how that one arrived. But I just got myself so cute today. The paw chip does not affect the teapot functionality. So we're gonna go ahead and go forth with making some tea 
out of this Luna. Spill the tea, Luna. Wow, that just came to me just now. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already thought about that. Uh, yeah, I'm totally gonna do something with that at the beginning of the video. Maybe even for short form content. <laughs> I contacted Abby Style about the chipped paw on my Luna teapot and they were happy to send a replacement. As a collector, I never judge the company if something arrives defective. I judge them on how they handle the customer service if I contact them for a replacement. And Abby Style did very good. After looking it over, the second one is perfect. Thank you Abby Style for making it right and sending me one without a chipped paw. I got some water boiled in my electric tea kettle here. I brought a little trivet down to place Luna on because I am down here in my collection room. Yes, this makes me nervous and anxious and I'm on my beautiful Cosmic Heart Compact custom table. So I wanna make sure to protect it from the heat. This already is protected from the heat, so I'm okay with that. But Luna, once I pour the hot water into her, I don't think it will be protected. So I got her on a little monster trivet. Let's go ahead and remove her left ear. And what kind of tea did I bring down? I'm just going to do a little tea packet here. I'm pretty sure you can get a tea steeper or a tea infuser that can fit inside the teapot to brew a whole pot of tea into Luna. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour the hot water into Luna so we can pour the hot water out and then I'll have a little, little tea bag into one of my cups where we can brew some. These cups right here that I have are from Bondi in 20, 2014. I love it because they actually say the date on the back. I love it when the companies put the date on merchandise. It helps collectors so much reference when they came out. So we're using these today to uh, pour tea in. And of course we have to use Artemis, right? I'll go ahead and open up my tea here. I'm just grabbed a tea from my cabinet. I grabbed a Yogi tea. Not sponsored, okay. <laughs> Sweet Clementine stress report, stress support. Wow, clearly I need it. I can't talk today. I need to mellow out a little bit. Smells so good. Got it in there. Now let's see how functional this Luna is. This is the part of the video where we find out if this works as a teapot. I'm pouring the water in right now. Oh, a little nervous down here in the collection room. You guys can see that steam. Something cracked in there. Got some hot water in there. Let's put her ear back. She is getting quite hot. So definitely uh, make sure you protect your space wherever you're going to serve tea with a uh, good old Luna here, good old Luna girl. Make sure you set her on something that protects the table. And uh, here we go. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this folks. <gasps> that ear is going to give me a heart attack. Remember how I was just talking earlier? Hold the ear when you're pouring it. That's how you even work teapots when they have a loose lid like that. Okay, it pours pretty nicely. It's a good stream there. I would say it works like any other teapot would. The ear is stressful. I think I might be extra careful with this because it is a Sailor Moon piece. And when it comes to my collection, when it comes to my Sailor Moon goods, I'm kind of, I'm kind of crazy about, about them. I'm very particular. I like to keep them nice. I treat them with the utmost respect and I treat them differently than all my other things that I own. <laughs> So that may just be me kind of projecting those fears that it's a Sailor Moon item and it's kind of given me a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of nervousness, but honestly it does function as a teapot pretty well from what I've seen. Oh, hot, but delicious. It is getting hotter to the touch as the heat from the water is just settling in this teapot more, but usually that's any cup. Like, I mean, even this is hot to the touch, by the way. Oh, I just got lipstick on this one. I honestly think she's great. If not for tea, you can totally buy her to store in your collection. Can you just imagine this back here, just on my shelf, hanging out? It would look so cute in the background of videos or on a collection shelf with your other figures, dolls, collectibles, proplicas even. I do think it's a unique item. I think that you kind of have to have it if you're a big fan of Luna because she is large. 
it's just one of those things that is too unique to pass up in my opinion. She's super cute. Again, I will have a link down there where you can buy this. One of my friends though just visited New York City and they ran across a shop in New York City that had these in stock. So you may run into these in the wild at retailers that sell Abbey style merchandise, maybe even FYE. Oh my gosh, it took me a minute to remember that. I don't actually have a FYE in my city, but when I go out of town, I love to visit at FYEs. They usually have a Sailor Moon section and they do sell a lot of Sailor Moon items and I bet this might show up at an FYE. I'm calling it if anybody runs across it. <laughs> Maybe even Box Lunch or Hot Topic might even stock this later on. Abby Style is sold, like I said, at a lot of different retailers. So you may come across it in the wild and maybe that's when you'll make your decision or not. I don't know. Sometimes you guys tell me when you're shopping for Sailor Moon, sometimes when you see it online, you're like, eh, you're on the fence, right? until you see a video of mine or another content creator or you run across it in person at a store and then you're like oh now i have to have it you know it's kind of that impulse buy when you run across it uh, in person i know i'm guilty of doing that all the time i'll say no. no i'm not buying that when it drops online but when i go to my box lunch store or a store that has a sailor moon item that i said i wasn't gonna get sometimes i change my mind <laughs> So Abby Style might be smart to throw these in some more retail stores. I can see them selling a lot more. But I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of this teapot? Is this something that you're going to buy? Did this video change your mind? I mean, look how big she is. She's really awesome. Ah, I can't stop just like staring at her. She's, she's freaking adorable. If it's not your thing, that's totally fine. You know, all of this stuff on my channel that I unbox and review and take a look at, even if I don't like it, it doesn't mean that you have... If, 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 oh my gosh. As a person who talks so much, I stumble over my words a lot. But I just want to say, like, all opinions are welcome on this channel. As long as you're kind and respectful, feel free to share them below. It's okay if you don't want to buy this. It's totally fine. But I appreciate you watching my video anyways and always supporting my content. You guys are literally the best. This is kind of a shorter video today just because we just have one thing to unbox. But it's kind of refreshing that I got to do a shorter video because, man, when I film a long video like a Proplica or the art book, a a lot of times the footage is over an hour long and it takes me an entire week to edit through all of the footage and whew, I, I put some time in those videos but this one's gonna be nice because it's gonna be much shorter thank you guys again don't forget if you want to shop for this luna check out the description below we'll have the sailor moon fan network blog post with all of the links up to date as much as we possibly can on where you can grab this for yourself and let us know if you see this luna anywhere else that maybe i didn't mention love you guys please watch another video on my channel my moonstick video is not getting a lot of views so if you have time go check out that video it's the one right before this one i hope i never know like when i'm going to get these videos out but i appreciate you guys don't forget to hit the like button comment below watch another video and check me out on social media Mwah. Bye, guys!